morning guys from this beautiful island Koh Phangan here in Thailand let's jump into my office guys Wah! you might wonder why is Didi always walking to the left in his office I really don't know I started wondering this myself so let's walk to the right today to do something different because yes I've been showing you many beautiful beaches all over the island I've been showing you the jungle I've been showing you temples and I've showed you many times the left side or the left wing of my beautiful office but I have never showed you guys the right wing of my office so today I will walk to the right side of this beautiful beach in Chalaklam, Koh Phangan, Thailand when it comes to the Bitcoin price guys the Bitcoin price like you used I always look at the bears and the bulls because both of them are showing a other perspective on the price and I need to be always prepared for both directions of the price. Yes, it can go up. Yes, it can go down. Nobody knows how high we will go. Nobody go knows how low we will go. But if it comes to the bears, they know how low we will go. The bears are telling us we are going to bring you back to 8K, 7K and maybe even 6K. And one of the indicators that is telling us that we should go down following the bears is the Bollinger Band. Because the Bollinger Band, we can see we are almost topping out. And they are like, if every time we top out on the Bollinger Band, we see a correction down to the bottom of the Bollinger Band. But I don't know if this is true. Because if I look to the chart that you see now in the screen, the Bollinger Band is this ribbon you can see, this bluish ribbon. And yes, you can see that all, many times we touch the top of the Bollinger Band, we drop down. But you can also see like in 2017, during the bull run, we kept to the top of the Bollinger Band like for many months. Like we kept touching it always to the top. That was one of the signs of the bull run. And if we look to 2019, you know, the run from 3000 to 14K, same happened. We touched the top of the Bollinger Band and then we kept touching the top till we reached 14k. So we are now nearing the top of the Bollinger Band. So I don't know if it's always a sign of a reversal or that maybe we will keep touching this band and just go up more and more and more. It would be a next small or even big bull run. Do you see the guy on the back guys? He's fishing. He's fishing in a really cool way. He's walking into the sea and he makes this net around him and then the fish swim into the net and that's how they manually fish here on the beach I will try to film it a little bit closer because there is some noise on the background let's see if you can see it I hope you can see it but you see the small green dots that's all connected to a fishing net so he created a circle by just walking around and now all the fish get caught in this circle he's even creating a smaller circle now in the middle and where also the fish are caught now so um, this is how they manually fish every day and they seem to catch a lot of small fish like medium small fish uh, and they just fry them and they cook them this is how they uh, provide themselves of food guys this is, this is real life probably we can film this when I walk back and maybe we see the result of his fishing uh, he's not the only one that is fishing and uh, c catching all these all this food for free and sometimes you see these huge eagles here maybe you've seen them flying in the back of me somewhere on top these eagles they catch all the crabs that are walking on the beach they fall down on the beach catch a crab and then they start to eat this somewhere in their eagle nest as you can see we have the like the village on the back of us it's a small relaxed village cool atmosphere and some more luxury hotels are being built but I hope it will keep its local you know it's local feel because that is exactly what I like about Chalaglam it's just this local fisherman village where you can spend a lot of time to relax have some fun and eat amazing food uh, we left at the Bollinger Band guys and um, yes so you can see we can touch the top and we can go to the bottom of this band but we can also keep touching this top for some time and then we'll see what happens to the Bollinger Band another bearish indicator guys is at the moment the TD um, on the weekly chart the TD is showing a 9 again I'm referring to Tone Vase because he's making a lot of uh, video content about this TD sequential um, indicator if you look at this indicator yes we can see a 9 and a 9 normally says 
that um, we are topping out and we should see a reversal so that says we should uh, be going downwards from this weekly candle the MACD crossing bearish on the daily chart so that one is also showing us we could um, go a little bit down and then we also have this hidden bearish divergence on the chart like you can see so these four indicators they are all uh, showing us that we should see a pullback to an 8k 7k 6k some bears even think 5k 2k but guys come on stay serious one of the latest charts i saw also posted by i think a more bearish type of a trader saw he even compared bitcoin to gold now by using the fractal he saw on this gold chart and if bitcoin would be following the movement of the gold as you know i told you in a, a fractal is a repeating pattern if bitcoin would repeat the gold pattern then we would see bitcoin also going down to 8k because you can see that the exact movements uh, are being shown on the gold chart and we are now at the movement where bitcoin should go a little bit down then come up again and then bottom out around 8k a little bit far-fetched because you know it's just that's really comparing apples and oranges but it can also have to do with the market psychology so if the people that are trading gold are also trading bitcoin yes this market psychology can um, create this beautiful pattern on the on the bitcoin chart now as well and if we keep looking at bitcoin in the bullish way guys because the bulls still believe we can hold support above 9300 and if we are able to hold support above 9300 who says we are not going to break 10k now and then even break 10,500 to go to this beautiful new um, goal of 11,000 and then even maybe to 12,000 like I showed you in yesterday's video if we break out of this triangle we can go up to even 12k because this is what history has shown us when we break out of these symmetrical triangles we will go up the same amount as the width of the start of the triangle which would bring us to 12k and, and also if we look at the long term of Bitcoin guys we I need to stay bullish because too many indicators are just telling me that we will see a bull run and again guys I am not freaking out I am zooming out when it comes to Bitcoin because if we go to 8k or like 7k it's still a healthy pullback because we have grown from 3600 till 10,500 of course it's healthy to have a 20% pullback but it doesn't, doesn't make me a bear it doesn't make me believe we will go to 5k 2k 1k no that just makes me believe that we are gathering some more runs around that area to make another push into the 10.5 huge resistance and then break this huge resistance to create this beautiful new bull run and then we would be following this beautiful stock to flow chart that I shared again a few times with you guys which will bring us to a 100,000 US dollar Bitcoin and um, at the end of 2021 beginning of 2022 and that is what I am focused on accumulating Bitcoin now so that I have as much as possible Bitcoin when Bitcoin goes to 100,000 US dollar per Bitcoin in the next one half two years you might ask yourself but what will it take to even reach like a price of 100,000 US dollar per Bitcoin I did some calculations and that would mean guys we need to reach a market cap a total Bitcoin market cap of 2.1 trillion US dollars um, is this big yes this is big because at the moment we have a 1.8 billion market cap so that would mean we need to multiply this market cap by 12 to reach this 2.1 trillion about 12 and um, yes this is a lot but if you compare this to the total equity market for example in the US it is nothing because if you look at the US spot equity market that's a market of 440 billion US dollars the Bitcoin market is just four billion dollars so if we could take this four billion dollars to 50 billion dollars we are still small compared to the US um, equity spot market but that would bring the market cap already to a um, area of 2.1 trillion we will be easily touching this 100,000 US dollar 
Bitcoin. And since we've been comparing Bitcoin to gold, yeah, let's look at gold, guys. If we would reach a market cap of 25% of gold, then we would already be on a 100,000 US dollar Bitcoin. And that's just gold. There are many investors all over the world that don't just invest in gold. They invest in gold, they invest in real estate, they invest in you know, silver, in normal stocks. So I was just referring to 25% of the gold uh, cap. So if we could like, take all these assets where institutional investors are invested in, we don't even need 25%. I think we only need then like two or three percent from this total market to reach a 100,000 US dollar Bitcoin price. So it is easily reachable if you look at the total market of investments. When we just look at gold, we just need to convince all these gold hodlers to diversify 25% of their gold hodls into Bitcoin and bam, we will see 100,000 US dollar Bitcoin price very soon. And if all these institutional investors now are watching Grayscale and are watching JP Morgan entering these huge markets of Bitcoin, all the other ones will have FOMO, fear of missing out, and all the other institutional investors will become very interested in also investing in Bitcoin because the biggest investment funds are doing this. And most of these funds are probably the same as most of the people um, or sheeple, I would refer. If, if one of these funds uh, jumps off the bridge, all the other funds will jump as well and they will start to accumulate Bitcoin. By the way, I reached the end of the beach, so I'm turning around again, walking back home again, because um, the beach just doesn't go further than this. It's a, it's a beautiful small part of the beach with some small uh, resorts, so it's a beautiful part to stay if you want to have some more relaxed time. The water is now very shallow. Normally, you can really beautiful go into the sea here and swim and enjoy the beautiful blue crystal clear water of Copangan. You might also ask yourself, but if we reach 100,000 US dollar Bitcoin price, how can we keep it there? How much do we need to keep this price? Because you need a constant inflow or outflow of the Bitcoin miners and people buying Bitcoins to keep the price at that, uh, at that level. This is also very easy to calculate because we know we are mining 900 Bitcoins a day. So if we would want to keep a 100,000 US dollar Bitcoin price, we would daily need about $90 million um, Bitcoin accumulation, which seems to be a lot. People buying 90 million US dollar daily in Bitcoin. But let's say we will have about 10 million Bitcoin investors or retail investors. That would mean that every Bitcoin investor would need to buy $9 worth of Bitcoin daily. I think I drink more coffee than $9 a day. Yes, I agree. They won't be buying Bitcoin every day. But if they buy once a month for $200 or $300, that's the same as $9 a day. So for me, I don't think there's a huge problem in keeping Bitcoin at the 100,000 US dollar price because it only takes 90 million US dollar of Bitcoins being bought on a daily basis. And if you divide this by this growing community, maybe we'll even reach 20 million users of Bitcoin in the near future. If we have 20 million users and 20 million investors, guys, then we're only talking about $4 a day. So I don't only think it's easy to reach the 100,000 US dollar Bitcoin price, but I also think it's easy to maintain this price. I see a very bright future when it comes to Bitcoin, um, brighter than this beautiful place here on the back. This was a really cool Rasta bar restaurant where I always went to have some food with my family and have some drinks and chill. They closed their doors. Many resorts here in Copagan have huge financial problems now because they are not supported now uh, by the governments enough and they are just not receiving tourists because the tourists are not allowed to, to fly into Thailand. So many of them are closing the doors, many of them, them are being sold. As we could read in the news today on Koh Samui, the brother island of Koh Phangan, 100 hotels today are being sold. All these entrepreneurs are not able to make profit or to even break even at the moment. So that's why they are selling out of huge pressures, of course, because they kept investing their hotels, they kept upgrading, making them more beautiful, all for all these tourists. And now this external factor, which is called COVID, just destroyed the whole tourism industry on these two islands. And, and that is terrible. 
I'm telling you this story because you need to zoom out in crypto and you need to see Bitcoin as an investment, also supporting a monetary revolution, but also as an investment if you step into the market as an investor. And as an investor, you need to be aware that we can read a lot of indicators, use a lot of beautiful charts, but we can never predict stupid things to happen like COVID, for example. COVID destroyed the whole tourism industry now in Thailand. Maybe something in the near future will happen that will destroy the whole industry of crypto trading. We don't know. We always need to be aware that this could happen. We never expected COVID to kill the tourism industry like this. So we don't know what to expect that can kill like the Bitcoin industry as well. So be aware that you always play with money you can afford and are prepared to lose. I know it sounds really crazy from a guy that sold everything he had to go all in into the market, but you can only do this when you don't care about losing this. So we were prepared to go all in and to lose everything we had. That is how we did it. If we wouldn't have been prepared to lose everything we had, we would have never been able to go all in. So let that be a wise lesson to you guys. Yes, if you want to do it, prepare your mindset and accept you can lose it all. But I'm very sad to see guys that this place closed its doors. It was a beautiful, lively place. They made beautiful and tasteful Krupuk. And the kids loved it. And they are gone now. They are gone. I hope people step in and take those places over and make them vibrant, beautiful beach restaurants out of them. Because else Copagan will lose its beauty in um, the backpacker tourism and will turn into this very luxurious island of villa owners. Let's see what will happen guys. Yesterday guys, I experienced how it felt to have a video deleted by YouTube and because it was violating some kind of community guides but it wasn't violating the guides guys i was just using this beautiful header where tim draper is giving away one million us dollar in bitcoin to all the attendees of the la blockchain week and i think youtube algorithm picked this up as a giveaway and bitcoin combined so not really trustful and that is why they deleted my video yesterday very sad but true all the people that um responded to my tweet thank you so much for sharing and um, bringing this to attention of the youtube creators team i uploaded the video again as well so you can still see this beautiful content i created yesterday in the morning for six hours long sweating on a beach good morning and then i meet one of my beautiful copa gun friends Derek. he is exploring these naked women here on the beach <laughs> <laughs> of course i'm climbing this Whoa. hey <laughs> this is the end of my beautiful hey. Bitcoin video today. Derek, beautiful Bitcoin hodler and trader and beautiful family living the freedom life in Popangan all over the world. Forever. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. I hope you enjoyed the information of the video. Please, if you do, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you will be notified on every new video. Thanks for watching guys. Enjoy your day to the fullest. Remember, zoom out in crypto, zoom in in life. Enjoy this day to the fullest every single minute of the day. That is what makes life worth living. Wish you a beautiful day and see you tomorrow again. Oh, before I forget guys, I'm passing by this fisherman again. I'm going to check how many fish he caught. I'm very curious how many fish he has. I will ask him. Check how much fish he found, he found today. Wow, and a big crab. And a lot of fish, guys. Look yeah. how big the fish are. Beautiful fish. Cup, good cup. Good luck with fishing. It's like you see, he's starting to do a second round. Again, this beautiful net over here. Fishing manually. He already caught a lot of fish. You know, they are providing for the families in a different way. But it's beautiful to see how it works. Like it's two meters from the shore, putting in a net and getting fish out of the sea. Free meal. This is how you could survive. Guys, if you run out of money, if the market crashes, just make sure you have the skill of fishing. That was really the end of the video. As I promised, I even showed you how this fisherman caught his fish. And bye.